The countdown is on, whether we like it or not. So we need to blast off into new understandings, to explore, and to imagine ourselves in the footsteps of the ones who are above us. And love from love, hope from hope. And it's time, we gotta be careful, otherwise we could have an alien apocalypse and it can come and get us if we're not prepared. But wisdom is what wisdom will allow us to be. And we need to look to the heavens. That's what the Lord always said. So praise the Lord. It's time to move ahead. The word of, of wisdom is, is out there and is pointing us to new understandings that will come forth. There are orbs all over this world floating above our heads, and we need to look up. Um, there are... Uh, there is only one God, so they are, if they are, and I fully believe, I know they are, uh, they are God's uh, children also, just like us. Um, think of how many different kinds of fish that there are, people. And uh, so praise the Lord. The, the Lord will open that up to, us, up to us more in the day to come. But praise God and love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace, and welcome to this alien corner. Uh, this is called the, the Cygnus Enigma, Nightmares Unleashed. There is also a deep probing guide into weirdness that may be, uh, may be, uh, may be a quick whole lot stranger than skeptics ever could have been skeptical about. For this is one, uh, a word of, um, that it, it, this word looks through heaven's windows with such clarity that many things previously unseen can finally be viewed through the eyes of faith. See, we never had um, uh, understanding. Um, the truth is, watchers have been with us even uh, thousands of years ago. Uh, the book of Enoch foretold that watchers have been all around and so are they still in this day uh, and so it might be the uh, it might become the opinion of many that there's never been a better better portal open on this planet uh, than this word of, of hope to see us through any issues ahead uh, for people that want to look deeply into God's fullness of creation that includes our brethren there uh, even some distant worlds are closely examined uh, in my in my work through several authors that are included within my work that I specify. Likewise, uh, the history of unidentified flying objects is presented through many uh, first-hand re reports, uh, verifiable. And curious souls will soon discover as well that many known people are, are UFO believers due to their very f to their own encounters, presidents and scientists and uh, very important people. Uh, and they all swear close encounters of uh, bizarre kinds. There are also millions of people around the world who swear that they have been abducted. And there are some who tell the same stories under very deep hypnosis. But this is all at the very tip of a spacecraft to those swearing that they've seen little green men. Even some superior technology, possibly uh, extraterrestrial in origin, has been found fo fossilized also and authenticated. Nor does it matter that such amazing things can't even be explained by um, 21st century scientists. Even things like brain surgery have been proven to exist thousands of years ago. And therefore, it's very possible that aliens have brought uh, to the ancients the kind of remarkable knowledge that still can't be figured out until this very day. Uh, and it's within the realm of truthfulness to admit that there are structures built by the ancients that modern man could still never duplicate. So, so read on uh, and hear the words of my writings. Um, and know that if something is real, it is real. 
Neither should humanity stay closed-minded about truth that seem false because um, they it goes against what they have been taught. We got to go against the current. If it's true, it's true. Embrace truth wheresoever it might be found. So sit back, please be open-minded as we start uh, uh, exploring some very strange things about our galaxy that even Ripley's Believe It or Not uh, was founded upon. So it's time, as many uh, um, artifacts are mentioned, uh, all pointing to the bazaar, and as they are mentioned, keep in mind that much can be looked up, what I'm talking about. You can Google this stuff. Um, so if you want to know further, Google it. Neither should anyone out there be too surprised that even several U.S. presidents have acknowledged their extraterrestrial beliefs, along with a host of astronauts. And whether people want to believe it or not, it holds more than true that some of our boys decorated with red, white, and blue have been freaked out by fallen watchers while they nervously were walking on the face of the moon. There have been encounters uh, historically declassified. And after all, the, the lack of air above, um, those explorers were so thick uh, that they stood under the shadow of things seen and unseen that once even caused Christopher Columbus to regret being uh, and sailing the ocean blue. But one thing is for sure, um, so as God's creation is explored, it's extremely important for all seekers of truth to know that there are supposedly some mummies of aliens that have been discovered, skulls with one or two horns, and some other weird relics that still make uh, science scientists to shudder. But don't think that all of the above is too far out to believe. After all, a couple minutes on the web, uh, you can pull up all kinds of videos uh, where people are living with horns uh, that pop out of their heads. There, there's so many weird things in this world, but uh, it's, it's time to bring understanding to much that has remained hidden up until now. Um, and nor should people uh, think it odd that some ignored oddities as, as such that I mentioned, uh, such as magnificent keys that have finally unlocked some truths about how the universe first came forth when God said, let us create man in our own image. And to sum up everything, the, using the words of Fletcher of Adonach uh, from the first century still are still true in essence uh, and couldn't really be argued with by anyone knowledgeable. And I can't argue with it. For that one writer once said, there are such strange mysteries out there that aren't mysterious in any way if the Word of God is examined and interpreted correctly. For God's supernatural ways comes upon the breezes of mankind's misunderstanding due, due to many puffed up heads of disbelieving people being full of hot air. Uh, telling it like it is, I guess I gotta agree with that. So know that uh, there was a time when leading, even leading UFO skeptics have been forced into admitting that their theories of no other life beyond Earth have been absurd. It is ridiculous to contemplate that we are the only one. And uh, uh, it's, there's a time that when even decorated soldiers, there's been a time when they've even quivered with some kind of petrifying kind of fear over their brushes with the great beyond. And there was also a historic time when some famous men of faith have additionally pointed towards these days when the skies have been abuzz with cell phone signals and some startling objects that have been seen by countless millions. Uh, and it also holds very, very true uh, that the, the world has been changed in the face of all of this. And uh, so praise the Lord, and it's time that we can rev up our engines and move, move, uh, move ahead. Um, and uh, so praise the Lord that there are even some modern-day leaders of powerful nations who have made references to a thousand points of light uh, and to a new world order that shall un eventually 
unveil itself. But it also holds true that the whole subject of UFOs is by far the biggest hot potato of all time, just as the former Secretary of State, Henry Kissinger, once said. He called it the biggest hot potato of all time. Um, however, some people take, take it all to heart, though. Uh, take former U.S. President Ronald Reagan, for example. President Reagan... Uh, when he carefully described his amazing 1974 UFO encounter zigzagging around, um, he said, I went up to the pilot and said, have you ever seen anything like that? And President Reagan was shocked, and the guy said, nope. Uh, so Reagan said, let's follow it. So uh, he said, we followed it for several minutes, and the president says it was a bright white light. And we followed it to Bakersfield, and all of a sudden, to our amazement, it went straight up into the heavens. Even ex-president Jimmy Carter declared in 1976, he says, I don't laugh at people anymore when they say that they've seen UFOs. I have seen one myself. There was a time, uh, 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 in the, what an admittance, you know, to be in public. Uh, but more and more, this is so common, it's almost not worth talking about. And there was also a time, according to the ancient writings that predate the gospel, uh, when the newly created earth was supernaturally brought forth with zillions of neighboring planets that orbit uh, distant suns and trillions of miles away from universes. Uh, for it was always made to be extremely busy up there in those outer spaces by our Lord of always. And there was also a very odd time when the original pre-Adamic creation went absolutely wild due to legions of fallen ones, uh, angels that flew upon the billowy winds of, of marvel, while those former watchers let their shadows hover over Earth's earliest forms. Therefore, this guide to the incredible uh, at this channel, um, it, it is now going to be laying out some rock-solid evidence that even some angels have been viewed as being UFOs, and that many unbelievers and believers alike in alien life have always got things all wrong, according to some distant voices. Moreover, this collection is of many anointed writers, and it lays out uh, correctly the theory that's correct of what's really been happening behind the scenes. So if you've really wanted a closer understanding, you found the right channel. And um, so praise the Lord uh, that uh, the following picture that, that uh, I'm trying to put together has been painted carefully with chosen words that only, uh, that only opens a true window into Earth's most amazing skyward happenings that's ever been opened. And so thus, the long-anticipated forbidden knowledge within this uh, UFO flame of Flames of Elijah series. It covers uh, completely uh, and solves many disconnects that have been kicking around in the heads of countless millions of Christians, Muslims, Jews, and people from all the other religions who have wrongly believed for decades that UFOs are nothing more than pretty vivid imaginations that have come forth from some unstable people who have probably eaten something that disagreed with them. Uh, there's a lot of mocking with this whole subject. So nor could any hearer of this word ever deny that uh, science of astronomy has been w way off for, for centuries. For the ancient writings within this word is extremely full of solid arguments from many experts that easily backs up uh, facts uh, beyond a shadow of things that have never been understood by uh, some intellectually blessed people. So read on and hear, uh, and uh, please leave a, a like uh, once in a while. Say hello. Now is the time when the Lord's elect needs to catch a clearer vision of, about the UFOs, as told through many people who have had revelation. 
And as this, uh, since this is now a breakthrough hour, the truth behind these mysteries, how they really came forth, should be blazing much brighter than any cross set of flame by the cruel demonic fires of the KKK. Uh, for a whole lot of misunderstandings have surrounded our Earth's visitors from the great beyond. But ancient insights will now finally bring everything uh, about such puzzles into such a clear view that lies such as mass hysteria will swiftly be consumed. For the Lord God in his wisdom has made three kinds of people. And the biggest group among those are the kind of souls who wonder what the heck happened. That's one kind. Next to those head scratchers are the type of people who watch things happen. That's all they want to do is just watch things happen. But the smallest group belongs to the kind of go-getters that makes things happen. I'm in that club. Uh, and it shall be members from that grouping which shall take the exposed secrets from this word and run with it to bless many others. And just as Fletcher of Adonach foresaw, it's the moment when every aspect of the strange needs to be examined so, so the faithless endings of millions can be avoided. God's people have been destroyed too long for lack of knowledge. Man, we just got to look up into the heavens. These orbs, they're all over the place. And it's time to accept that which truly is. And um, so it's time to examine these things. Uh, for it's only by placing a big magnifying glass over the whole subject of extraterrestrial that will bring forth many blessings from our master of the wood, who is our Rose of Sharon. It's also a fact that our carpenter of the ages shall now allow a carefully built bridge of words to arise towards heaven so that his people can have a better knowledge about such incredibility of the signs that he pointed towards. And all of this and much more will now be brought forth uh, so that people can have better understandings through uh, the cuneiform of the Sumerians as well. And then those treasures shall bring forth a great deal of light uh, to the kind of truth that will finally help uh, everyone be able to get along together and have better understandings. So it's therefore the hour to discover how our planet put on some earphones to listen to the heavens and how ancients saw UFOs and how the book of Ezekiel gives input uh, and how the Lord has allowed fossil evidence to prove every single claim within this word of life out there. It's also therefore the hour to wipe out, out to wipe many slates clean to start all over. Uh, for it holds very true that most of what people have always thought was a correct understanding of how things really began in the beginning have always been like a great counterfeit uh, bill that even a banker can miss. So as everything now unfolds at this at this channel uh, at, at, in, in the reading of Flames of Elijah, so as it now unfolds, our Lord of the truest truths, he desires all of his children to reserve judgment until after all of the cards have been laid down. Uh, otherwise, anyone's un uninformed opinions are just as phony as some million-dollar bills with uh, Santa's photo on them. Uh, so that's why people of faith, they've been encouraged to study themselves approved by God. And uh, so I welcome you to this channel because I don't think there's much more, more interesting than what's going on here. So love from love. And until next time, keep it real, keep it uh, true, and remember... Prosper. Bye, man. Love from love. Until next time, I hope.